Hello, I'm John, the creator of Speak British English. This is the third video in a series covering the general characteristics of the British accent. In this video, you'll learn about the glottal stop. You'll also learn how to get a month of free access to my online pronunciation school. A glottal stop is the sound produced when the glottis is closed and then opened. Let me demonstrate. To understand how to make this sound, think about what happens when you cough. First, you squeeze your glottis closed. Then you open it with a strong breath. This happens at the start of every vowel. Let me demonstrate. R, U, A, E, E, O, U. Although I am exaggerating here, practicing in this way will help you to develop good technique. Listen again. R, U, A, E, E, O, U. The glottal stop can also occur at the end of vowels. Listen as I demonstrate. Ah, 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 ah. As you can hear, when I keep my glottis open at the end of the vowel, the sound fades into a breath. When I close my glottis at the end of the vowel, the sound stops suddenly. Listen again, this time I'll exaggerate. Ah, uh, 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 ah. Uh. Now listen as I demonstrate some phrases. Drive the car, push the car. Drive the car. Push the car. If you listen carefully, you'll notice that when I say cart, I close my glottis at the end of the vowel. When I say car, I keep my glottis open at the end of the vowel. Listen again. Drive the car. Push the car. The reason for this is that cart ends with a t consonant. Whenever the t consonant comes at the end of a syllable, we squeeze our glottis closed in this way. This is called glottal reinforcement. Here are some more examples. His hat was dirty. I took a shortcut. His hat was dirty. I took a shortcut. As you can hear, there are glottal stops in the words hat, short and cut. However, there's none in the word dirty. That's because here, the t consonant comes at the beginning of a syllable, not the end of a syllable. Listen again. His hat was dirty. We also use glottal reinforcement with the k, p and ch consonants. Listen to these examples. Whack, cut, chirp. Whack, cut, church. The glottal stop is especially important when connecting words. Listen again to this example. His hat was dirty. If you listen carefully, you'll notice that I don't actually make a t sound at the end of hat. Instead, I close my glottis, hold momentarily, and then proceed to the W consonant. Listen again, this time I'll exaggerate. His hat was dirty. Here are some more examples. Sit down, let go, hot tea, heartbreak, shirt sleeves. Sit down, let go, hot tea, heart break, shirt sleeves. 
As you have just learned, we use a glottal stop when a syllable ends with a t consonant. However, in the UK, people sometimes use this technique when the t consonant comes at the beginning of a syllable. Listen as I demonstrate. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. As you can hear, I'm using a glottal stop in the middle of the word better. I'm feeling better. Almost all British people do this occasionally, even me, but it is considered lazy, improper pronunciation and should be avoided. Listen as I demonstrate the right way and the wrong way. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Here are some more examples. Water. Water. Winter. Winter. Little. Little. Sorted. Sorted. Fighting. Fighting.